video on reading XML files into uh, Jupyter and then reading them uh, as JSON files after we've read them in. So the library that I'm going to use here is XML to dict. So it shouldn't be too much surprise that uh, we're going to open that file up uh, as a with statement. And then we're going to read the file uh, and then parse it using the function from the library. So once we've done that, let's see what the output looks like uh, as a, the variable doc uh, contains a bunch of ordered dictionaries. So you might not have seen those before. All it really means is you still have key value pairs, but the order is explicitly maintained um, rather than maybe being a little dynamic. All right, an ordered dictionary is actually a list of tuples, so that's why an ordered dict, and there's a square bracket, and then there's this tuple of key and value pair, so it's still a dictionary, but it's stored as tuples in a list. Okay, so the access method is just like it would be normally. You can uh, nest your commands here so you can get to the key pop-up menu item and it returns this list of dictionaries. Here they're order dictionaries. So if you're in this environment and you're like, ah, I don't really want to work with order dictionaries, you can actually convert those um, using the JSON library and the order dict in collections. So let's take the order dictionary that we got back as the variable doc and we're going to load that into JSON. And then it looks more like what you'd expect. So this is the ability to convert from uh, nested order dictionaries from the XML to dict library, and then we can access those again in the same manner, um, but it looks a little bit easier to read. There are a couple other libraries here, XML DOM and XML eTree, but I don't use those. They're not quite as intuitive in my opinion. So I usually just use XML to dict and then convert things to dictionaries using JSON.